one thing that is fascinating to me is that your grandparents more or less immigrated to the Texas Panhandle from Georgia and uh, that's a fascinating story we really don't want to get into that too much but with your love of Emerald history and uh, our interest in, in history in itself you had mentioned to me one time that you had some stories about early Amarillo that uh, had been passed on to you by your grandfather, perhaps your grandmother as well. Oh yeah, they were. And I believe they uh, came to Amarillo in, what was it, 1889? 1899. 1899. Yeah. So that was about 11 years after uh, Oneida was established. They, uh, Road to Fort Worth from Denver up here, and uh, got off the train. And of course, the street ran right into the depot. Now they you know, they got the overpass that goes over the depot building and goes on down the street. But anyway, at that time. in the Fort Worth and Denver, in the Santa Fe, in the Rock Island. The Rock Island was a much smaller depot, and that railroad did a whole lot less business than all of its existence than the other two did. But uh, Rock Island always ran a, a passenger train, not a big passenger train, but uh, a small one. And I can remember in the afternoon, probably about 4.30, you'd hear a train whistling down there, the crossing and stuff. And the people I knew had a hardware store there, I'd be over there and I'd watch that locomotive come to town pulling those three or four passenger cars and blowing out whistles and everything. Man, they're just like the old days, you know. And they go and pass and get up there and stop the depot. And that, uh, That depot was right next to the main drag, Polk Street in Amarillo. And uh, I remember my father told me uh, one morning, he said, you get up, we're going to town to Rock Island Depot. I said, what are we going for? He said, we're going down there we're bringing a prisoner of war camp train through here. So, we went down there and uh, there were probably 30 or 40 parked down, cars parked down in the depot parking lot. And uh, the people that worked in the depot come down to the bank all the time, so we knew them. Anyway, about the time it's supposed to be here, I guess it's about 10, 30 or something, here comes this train whistling in, stops right in front of the depot. And just as soon as that train stopped, these guys dropped off of each of these cars. Each one of them had a Stein, Stein gun. You know what that is. They go Stein gun. And they got off facing those cars. You want to explain that for people who may not be familiar with it? Stein gun was a 
lot of people referred to them as grease guns. They looked a whole lot like a grease gun. They were still there about that big around and went out here and waved in and a barrel that went out of it. They had a place for a magazine underneath it. And it was a it was made as a cheap machine gun using World War II. And, uh, Something like an AK-47 would be these days. But, uh, you know, the amount it cost to make those things was like 8 or $10 dollars back then. And that's pretty dang cheap, you know? Yeah. But all these guards up and down that train were watching to see that nobody got off or got away. And They were Japs, Japanese prisoners, and uh, were they headed east or west? They were going east. Headed east. Uh, they had prisoner camps out to the west. Most of them are pretty distant from here, but they had one someplace east of here they were going to. And, here in Amarillo, the nearest one to Amarillo was over at Hereford. That's a town of about 35 miles from Amarillo. It's on the Santa Fe Railroad. But they had an Italian prisoner of war camp there. They wanted to build that Catholic church over there where the prisoner of war camp was. Still over there being used today by people over there, but that was quite a story in itself. But anyway, train pulled out, went on, and uh, I guess that was probably one of the Very important things that happened <laughs> at the Rock Island Railroad and had anybody come down here to see it because they sure did have much business otherwise.